I am your host, Casey Phoenix, and this is my daily thought. Okay, for my daily thought, the crazy thing is, and I, I've, I've been running behind schedule all day today, which I didn't sleep that well last night. I guess because I ate so much food. I ate a lot of food last night. It, it was a huge bowl of chicken. It was like the, it was, I, I got the boneless chicken thighs and I boiled them because those who follow my show know I boil my chicken. So I boiled my chicken thigh, boneless chicken thighs and then I, I don't want to say fried them because anytime fry you think of grease and stuff, but I, I don't want to say sauteed either because I didn't, I didn't use any oil. I didn't use any grease. I just took it and put it in the pan after I finished boiling them. And I broke them apart and put them in a, a little salad. And I didn't have a lot of vegetables. It was just kale, carrots, ba the baby carrots. I like the multicolored baby carrots for some reason now. That's like my thing because I love the different colors. Which, food, um, food for thought, pun intended. Carrots, which I think I might have mentioned this before, carrots are not originally orange. They were genetically modified and later they became orange. But the actual color of carrots is usually yellow or there's another color. But orange isn't the true color of carrots. So that's just food for thought. Uh, but I had the mixed colors, baby carrots, which was like yellow, orange, purple, and some celery and some mozzarella cheese but it's the vegan type cheese that um it doesn't have any milk in or anything like that it's just it, it that mozzarella cheese is so good it tastes so good but i put that in there and some almonds and some frozen wild blueberries and some salad dressing, which the salad dressing is amazing. If you ever get a chance, try Brick House salad dressing. It's low sodium, and they they did not pay me to do this. I'm just doing. I'm just telling you because I order bottles on top of bottles from them, and I wouldn't even order like that if it wasn't good. But um, Brick House salad dressing, I had that. I had the garlic. The garlic isn't as good as the herb it was originally the Dijon but they changed it to the creamy herb or something like that um, and it's good that's good but the garlic herb eh, it's good but not great not like the creamy the Dijon one that they changed the name to so anyways and for those who know I usually talk before I go into my daily thought uh, and for those who are new, now you're finding out that I talk before I go into my daily thought. So yeah, I had the salad last night and it was a large bowl. And I ate it all. And then I went to bed. And for whatever reason, I could not sleep. It was so heavy on my stomach. Um, I just had trouble sleeping. And it threw the whole day behind. It threw everything behind. Where I slept a little bit later than I usually sleep, I recorded for my other channel a little bit later than I usually record. And then at my regular job, because it was Labor Day and we were closed yesterday, all of the requests from all of our clients all over the world we're coming in <laughs> or came in yesterday and then additional came in and those were coming in and then on top of that I had I had an important appointment tomorrow which would be the ninth that I really really wanted to go to 
I had a very important appointment tomorrow. And I had to change the date because they're doing work inside the apartment building on my floor. And they're redoing the carpet. Well, they said they're redoing the carpet between the hours of 8 and 5. I'm thinking everything is fine. It's just like, okay, try not to be in the hallway that much because obviously they're working on the carpet. They're going to be working on the carpet. But then I get a text message this morning stating that, no, they want us to stay inside of our apartments between eight and five and not to walk on the walkway during that period. So basically we're prisoners. If we're not going out tomorrow, we're prisoners between eight and five. So hopefully these carpenters will be on top of their A game because if it carries over to the next day, it's gonna be a different type of conversation. But yeah, and then <laughs> I had to run to the bank today, which I hardly ever go to the bank in person, like to do things. And I had to deposit a check. Usually, and I thought by federal law, that they have to make a certain amount available with the check. But for whatever reason... I guess due to the size of it, they're just like, okay, we got to put a hold on it and then we'll release all of the funds. And I'm just like, really, dude, you better be thankful that I, I have other sources of money. So that happened. And then that I had to readjust some things with that. And now I'm here recording my daily thought for for today as a supplement to keeping it real with KC, which by the way, main podcasting platform, KIRWKC.com. We're seven minutes and 30 some odd seconds into this. And I'm telling you all this, and I, I haven't even included all of all of the other stuff that's been going on today, but I'm telling you all of this. Because I am frustrated. And you know what? That's okay. That is okay. It's okay that I'm frustrated. I have every right to be based off of everything I've told you. And even the stuff that I haven't told you. Because I haven't told you. 100% of everything that has been happening today. I told you like 85%. So, based off of the 85% that I've told you, I have every right to be frustrated. I did an episode for Keeping It Real with KC probably a month ago, two months ago. You can look it up. It, the episode was, I don't trust people who are constantly happy. That is where people get hit with things and stuff, but they just stay happy, stay happy, stay happy, stay happy. I believe in remaining positive or as positive as possible and hoping for the best. But if you don't take in the bad things or the unexpected things that happen in life, if you don't take it in and absorb it, at least just for a second, you're not going to be balanced. People who are like, oh, no, I don't get frustrated. Da, 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 da. I'm not saying like with my frustration, 
I'm not going to be carrying this around with me all week long. Everything that happened today. Hell, it, most of it is gone. Truthfully, most of it is gone. Because stuff happens. And you can't control everything. Or, or really nothing to a certain degree. Except yourself and even that is up for debate. Um, the only thing that you can do is pull it together and move on. But don't feel bad if you're frustrated about a situation. It's okay to be frustrated. Long as you don't stay frustrated. And as long as you start create as long as your brain starts looking for solutions don't stay stuck in the frustration just like when i told you the partial funds weren't available for the check i deposited okay my brain was like all right what's the next step and it started Laying everything out. All right, you need to do this. You need to do this. You need to pull from this account. You need to do this. You, and then pull it together. Move on. And do that. I couldn't stay stuck in it when I got the news. <laughs> from the bank. But, you know, it is what it is. When it comes to the day changing for the important appointment I have for tomorrow. I had to call and reschedule for the next day. I didn't apologize to them. And I told them that I'm like, I'm not one who apologizes. All I can tell you is that I wish this didn't happen. But I will definitely be there for the appointment the following day. And do that. I had to pull it together and move on. For me being behind on recording my stuff today when I woke up this morning because I slept a little bit later due to me not being able to sleep because of the large dinner I had last night. I had to keep, I had to pull it together. Yeah, the episode for that channel was uploaded a little bit later. Things were rushing a little bit more than I would have liked. But regardless, it had to be done. I couldn't say, oh, well, I'm not going to do it because I'm frustrated and everything's running behind today. Just like right now. Usually I'm in the process of fixing dinner right now. So I'm already, my day's already behind. Once I finish recording this, I have to upload it to my laptop and then after that I have to rip the audio out from the video then after that I have to upload it to the podcasting platform and then I have to upload the video to YouTube and then I have to take wait on that to happen then I have to download the SD version of the video and then upload that to daily motion and then I have to create the keywords the hashtags and all that stuff and then get the links together then I have to get the stuff for Instagram to make sure I have that ready to post up on there. Then I have to um, make sure I have everything ready to post on Twitter and Facebook and so on and so forth. I have to do all of that. It has to be done regardless of how frustrated I may be or have been. It has to be done. And then I have to fix my dinner, which luckily the type of dinner that I'm making it, it, it doesn't require a lot of prep time tonight because I'm just going to make some albacore tuna and some kale and some carrots and a little bit of hummus and keep it moving and probably some wild blueberries because those frozen wild blueberries are so good. But and I'll have to go to bed maybe just a little bit earlier tonight and and do that. But regardless. I have to keep moving ahead. I have to 
keep providing solutions to any problems that have been created due to things not happening the way that they were expected to happen today. And I have to keep doing that regardless or not of me being frustrated. If you are frustrated about something in life or many things in life, just like I named off a plethora of things today and not that is oh so dramatic as if the world's going to end or anything like that because I, I'm still thankful my life is better than a whole lot of people's on planet Earth. It just is. And I'm thankful for that. I'm happy. You know, these problems that I've had today are first what they call first world problems. It's just been frustrating as hell. You know, but regardless of what problems you have, if you have one problem, if you have a dozen problems in one day, if you're overwhelmed, if things just happen one after another after another, one, battle test it. Check out that episode. That will help you become more battle tested as you navigate through those issues and your frustration. And two... You will appreciate things a little bit more when they're going the way you want them to go <laughs> versus when they're not going the way you want them to go. So it's okay to be frustrated. Don't ever feel guilty about that. Take it in, move ahead, and keep going. That's all you can do, but it's okay to, to do that. It's okay to be frustrated. That is how you maintain balance. Because if you don't acknowledge it's okay to be frustrated and you, you, carry in all, you carry all of this frustration with you and it just continues to carry and it continues to bubble and things just continue to spill over, it doesn't help anything. And you can't find solutions staying stuck in the frustration. Like I said, acknowledge it, pull it together, and look for solutions and do what you can. And that's the most that any of us can do. The most that any of us can do is what we can. We can't do any more than what we can do. We, we just can't. We can only do what we can do. But what we can do, we need to do. And we don't need to give up so easily in the midst of our frustration. Because the answer, the solution, may be right in front of your face. And you're not seeing it because you're stuck in frustration. Like I said, it's okay to be frustrated. Just don't stay stuck there. And that's all I have. I thank everyone for listening to Keeping It Real with KC. Liking, sharing, subscribing, all of that stuff. KIRWKC.com, main podcasting platform. Of course, we're on more than one platform. Spotify, Apple, Google. So, yeah, all of that stuff. This the show is on it. K I R W K C on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook.com forward slash K I R W K C. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to click the subscribe button followed by the notification bell. That will let you know that I've uploaded a new video. Same thing with Daily Motion. And whew, I'm running out of breath. <laughs> But that's okay. I need some water. <laughs> that is okay. But yeah. Thank you again. I sincerely mean it. Until next time. Be blessed. <laughs>